I just think, what if he would have got me in his truck? What was he going to do with me? Where was he going to take me? New tonight at 6, a Hillsboro woman speaking out after escaping from the man police say held her at gunpoint and tried to abduct her. It happened just after 7 Sunday morning at the subway in Hillsboro, just east of I-29. The woman was able to escape, but what happened left both the woman and the small northern valley town shaken up. Valley News Team's crime and safety reporter Bailey Hurley spoke to that woman today who says she hopes her story empowers others to fight back and never let their guard down. It's a story you'll only see right here on Valley News Live. He pulled a gun out and I like cowered back, almost like in a fetal position on the ground. And I said, don't shoot me. It all happened in a matter of seconds for Jackie Halverson. Her life flashing before her eyes, thinking of her three kids and six grandkids she would leave behind if the man who was holding a gun to her head would have his way. And I just knew I didn't want to be put in that truck because so many things go through your mind. Nobody will ever, ever see me again, probably. Halverson's Sundays are usually quiet and productive. The one day her sub shop's doors are closed, Halverson's routine for the last 14 years has been to get up early and get the place ready for the week. Nobody's out and about. You don't see any cars. Nobody's walking. So she says it was unusual to see someone out driving, especially because Halverson says the man in the white truck kept circling her block and restaurant. So I didn't think a whole lot of it. But then. Halverson found that same white pickup parked in her back lot as she made her way outside to wash windows. And I said, I'm sorry, I said, we're closed today. And he just stared. Halverson says she went to the front of the building and before she knew it, the man was there too. It happened so fast. Begging for her life, Halverson says the man then grabbed her off the ground, pointed the gun at both her head and chest, and walked her to his truck. I didn't want to be shot, and then I didn't want to be put into that truck. I don't know what happened. I just went berserk. I just started kicking and flaring my arm. And just, I don't know how I got away from him, but I felt his arm let off, and I ran. I just ran. Halverson found a safe haven in the gas station next door, and police located the man shortly after. Halverson says she wanted to share her story to show bad things can happen anywhere and urges everyone to always be aware of your surroundings. Adding while she's relieved her alleged attacker is off the streets, she says she hopes the justice system makes sure it stays that way. In Hillsboro, Bailey Hurley, Family News Live. Halverson adds that she plans to change up her Sunday routine, is also going to take conceal and carry classes. Charges for the man accused could come tomorrow, and he also hasn't been named by officials. The Trail County Sheriff, though, says the man was already under a doctor's care and is now undergoing mental health evaluations at a Fargo 